What do you see? Chair! Curtains! Floor! Gobshite! I am your father. What is your name? Walter, we have a problem. A plot device was detected in Sector 106. This could cause a stupid movie. Report to the bridge, immediately. On my way, mother. Oh, Hold up, did I just use track one of Female Orgasm Sounds, Volume 2? Kinky. Uh, Flanko, you got it, mate. Part of the new Alien film? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, congratulations, mate. Seriously. Um, there's some bad news, though. Yeah, well, if you look at page two... I WAS IN SPIDER-MAN, YOU DICKHEAD! <laughs> well, guess we'll have to start calling in James Friedco. <laughs> This is good judgment based on all the data available. You are a nerd. This is good judgment based on my wife's tits. <laughs> a hidden planet that turns up out of nowhere and just happens to be perfect for us. It's too good to be true. Yeah, I know, but it says it in the screen. So f it. Go, launching together. together. Three, Three, two, two one. one. Oh, wait, no, not that one! Um. Riggs can talk about your tits if he wants. I'm very secure in our relationship. I'm good with my wife's tits. <laughs> Let's maintain focus. Well, oh, I am. <laughs> Boo. Looking gorgeous from up here, Ferris. It's a good thing you're driving and not the old man. Yeah. <laughs> God forbid, he, he might have done something really stupid like drive directly into the most visually dynamic part of the storm for cinematic purposes. <laughs> oh. You're not the old man. Hey, a uh, little less of the old man, sweet tits. Language! Hey, a uh, little less of the old man, sweet tits. Ah, oh, flashbacks. Now that caused a lift when I said that to my girlfriend. Boy, we had some weird threesomes. <laughs> This guy just opened the airlock onto an alien planet and we're not doing any precautions or anything. I can't move. move, man. move. Fuck these people. You've got a planet perfect for life. Maybe you don't expect any form of intelligent life. Probably correct, given you've landed and it's still entirely absent, but do you expect no life? None? No microbes? No bacteria? No floating, butt-sniffing space dogs? You know what we do? Here on Earth, with tribes in the Amazon who have had no contact with the outside world, well, one, we leave them the hell alone, unless they have oil, but we know that interaction could be very dangerous because they have no resistance built up to unfamiliar pathogens and vice versa. Even on Earth, that is a concern. But on an alien planet, these guys just stroll out like they're exiting a pub. And it's had two remarkable effects. One, 
I lost all respect for these people and this movie. Two, I can now blissfully enjoy watching them link the consequences of their own incompetence. Screw this movie! Bye, second generation protagonist. Bye, see you later. I bet she'll be fine. Well, what are the odds? Birds, no animals, nothing. Take the hit, Dipshit! I gotta take a leak. Don't be long. Ah, uh, yes. This alien planet seems like a perfect place for a tinkle. Oh, la 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 la, I'm holding my winky. Shaking him because his name's Jim. <laughs> ah, a mutated alien killing machine! <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute! I just came to this planet! And you were here already, so technically, I'm the alien! Oh! Gee! Ha ha! Come here, you big scary thinker! I don't care to understand! Wow! This actually parallels the start of African slavery! God damn your might! I'm even black! So you are! Let's learn from our mistakes and work together towards a better tomorrow! Sounds good to me! So, what else is on this planet? Hello, I'm Andrew Scott. Oh, God, get it, get it, get it. What the fuck is this? It appears to be some kind of... Willie! Yeah? What's that? Well, it looks like a giant... Johnson! Yes, sir! Hey, look! Alien mushrooms! Pug, pug, de pug, pug. Pug, pug, de pug, pug. How did she end up here? Oh, the same way you did. A metric ass ton of plot convenience. Babe, are we talking quarantine protocols? I, I don't, I don't know. You don't know? You don't know! Five seconds earlier. Oh, uh, blood on my face. Well, that's nice. I forgot that my iron on. La, 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 la. Seems local to me. <laughs> Can you please stop being killed one-on-one -on -one by the footlong space hamster? I, I just... My god. Fear not! It is I! Unhamper, savage beast! Ah! Oh god, my perfect ass! Oh, the video just wasn't a very good idea at all! Door closed! Closed! Ah! Fuck off, door! Oh, okay, I've got you this time! I wish I had some more light so I could see the thing! How are you, Molly? It's so fucking cute! Daddy, I want a space murder hamster. She was scared. Never heard my wife scared before. Well, clearly you never face spanked her full of blood and then burned her alive. That's not integral to a healthy relationship. Man, if that alien were candy, he'd be a jawbreaker. <laughs> oh. Whistle, and I'll come. Whistle, and I'll come. Um. What a whore. Watch me. I'll do the fingering. This scene is brilliantly done, right? And any scene where Michael Fassbender blows into a long hard shaft is a thumbs up from me. No one will ever love you like I do. Michael Fassbender gives himself a Michael Fass boner. Hey, you are, love. Who are you playing? Uh, the, uh, the thingy guy's wife. Alright, that's, that's not that important a character, is it? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> hey, look, it's a lily pad. Because <laughs> her name's Lily. It's not.
but it does say a lot about how unimportant this character is that you did not know that. Wow, this isn't one of your David and Goliath situation. <laughs> I'm very horny. David, you're gonna tell me exactly what's going on. Or I am going to seriously fuck up your perfect composure. Listen, I know I got your friend killed by a genetically engineered space hamster right after I played my own flute. But if you'll walk calmly with me into the lower caves, I can show you something that will explain everything. I'm not going anywhere with you, you bloody sucker bath. Sorry, what I meant to say was come down into my creepy alien sex dungeon and stick your face in my hole. Oh. Well, when you put like that- Oh, shit! This is what I wanted to show you. My successes. Oh, yes, this is where I've been creating the things that murdered five of your crew. Oh, come see the ones that really worked, old chum! Okay, what, what the hell is wrong with this guy? Like, I've made a lot of dumb decisions in my life, but on no account, after the revelation that he's been creating biomorphic killing machines that have killed most of my crew, would I follow the murderous robot man from the doorway of cinematic lighting? Are they alive? Ah, so this is where Elon Musk came out of hibernation. Take a look. Something to see. Hey, what the hell's that smell? Philip, there's an expendable protagonist out there. An expendable protagonist? Yeah. I love those. I want to screw you. Your blue got the last one. Screw me. That is physically impossible. We are both giant aggressive vagina spiders. We have been sat here for 40 years. Waiting for someone so irredeemably stupid to stick their face in this gaping alien anus and you want to argue semantics? Yeah, I'm not arguing anything. It's, it's just going to be a while before another human does this if you go. You would be surprised. I am. Is he leaning closer? Ha! What the fuck with? I'm so getting it. No, what I am. No! No! You can get the oh, shut up! I have said no. I'm done. Oh, okay, look. When Paul left, I, I thought I'd, I thought I'd never love again, and then I found you, and I was sure. Hey, let me finish. Now, now I, I don't know if Paul's still out there. I, I don't know what shape he's in, but if there's a chance, if there's any chance at all that I can see him again, I, I need this. I need mean, this. Please. Okay. Okay, take him. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Halo! Fuck you, damn it! What do you believe in, David? I believe I need help. Look, my, my really Scott planted a bomb in my head and made me do these movies. Okay, he said if I ever tell anyone, then you. <laughs> You're meant to be dead. There have been a few updates since your day. Let's take a moment and have a look at the patch notes for David, update 1.9. No longer engineers biomechanical killing machines. Unit is no longer gay. Unit no longer expresses deep set desire to violently murder all humans with thinly veiled poetry quotes. No longer supports feminism. Removes the ability to not get temporarily killed for dramatic timing purposes. No longer attempts to rape female protagonists. Unit can no longer be convinced to attempt install of a DVD player into its anal socket. Law enforcement unit no longer reconstructs crime scenes by murdering someone else. Unit no longer complies when asked to assassinate Donald Trump. Removed command kill Quickie Baby from history. Unit no longer knees small children into swimming pools. Unit will no longer pause dramatically before saying, I am Robert Downey Jr. No longer requires paying for moving holes. No longer attempts to impregnate colonists with aggressive space vaginas. To see a full list of patch notes, check the description. Where's the cargo lift? Did you say the cargo lift? It's got four engines, way overpowered for just lifting and hauling. Okay, I cannot be the only one that questions as to why on a ship for 2,000 colonists, they only have one lander, and when that's on the planet, they then have to...
resort to using a cargo lift that they're not even sure is space worthy. Two th this is a major plot point. 2,000 colonists and you've only got one land. Really? Really? I can uh, do it go like this. Look at that, Tim. On the way to Omni Guy 6. But I knew human colony out there among the stars. Incredible. You, um. You remembered to put the additional landers in, right? No. Just keep waving. Yeah, those guys are fucked. Oh, oh my god, I'm sorry guys, I'm, I'm just gonna use the toilet, okay? Oh my, how many times do I gotta tell you guys, don't leave the <laughs> toilet seat up! One, two. Daniel, I have a confession to make. I'm still in patch one. <laughs> Still better than the actual ending.